Welcome back. We are restoring an ASR33 8-bit teletype. In the last episode, we cleaned it thoroughly, repaired the power supply that had a bad cap, put it all back together, and repaired the magnet driver card. We got it to the point where it stopped chattering when closing the 20 milliamp input loop. At that point, we tested it in the local mode, but it would not even transmit a single character. Except for the brake key, all keys were unresponsive. So we have this problem where when we press a key, nothing happens. And it's supposed to trip the machine. And for that to happen, first there's a universal lever that should be down. It's this little thing that produces over here. So now it's down. Now I can press the key. No cigar. And then that lever goes up to the H plate that's at the bottom over here and then goes all the way to the back and we see it moving but it doesn't trip the clutch and the trip for the clutch is here. The machine is chock full of these very clever expansion clutches which get activated every time a particular mechanical function is needed. To make them work, the trip lever has to catch just the right amount of the shoe lever so they need to be all adjusted properly. It sure looks like the transmit clutch is not even tripped by the key presses as it should. The clutch trip mechanism is buried at the back of the machine under the answer back mechanism. So we must unmount some of it to get a better look. There you go. Okay. You should be able to take it off. There you go. Yeah. Here I am able to manually trip the transmit clutch by releasing the reader trip lever, which is normally operated by a magnet which I just removed. Clutch and trip look to be doing fine when actuated in that manner, and the trip lever adjustment looks visually spot on. So the fault is likely somewhere else. The problem seems to lie in the two adjustments here, there is one in here that adjusts the linkage from the universal lever to the back of the machine and there is another one for the here is and the screw is there, it's really super well hidden and then we move them a little bit and it's looking a lot better Okay, so I've just a linkage adjustment, and here is. We have to put back the here is drum, but apart from that, it's better. Alright. Now I have a newer problem, is that the uh, holder for my answer back system, the tab has broken off. I need to try to repair that and it's plastic on plastic on an edge so that's not gonna work I need to make a reinforcement of some kind and solid. All right. All right. It's likely more convincing now. Hooray! We finally have some keyboard action, but it sure looks like we are still not transmitting yeah, so anything. I called go for it. Turn it on mode. Local mode. Try to send a real character. Nothing happens. That's weird. And then I can tell the magnet here is not moving a bit. But the distributor is distributing. It's turning. Yep. Yeah. Do, do a few. You can see. Anything much here? 
That's a distributor. So, we have brake works. Yeah. But that's again separate from the right. distributor. Well, oh, we can maybe simulate a character by doing some brakes. Yeah. It. Yes, it's setting up some characters. Because right, the problem we think is localized to send in the distributor. We both think we have an electrical issue in our transmit distributor, which is just a glorified Morse switch. Time to dig in the electrical schematics, also written by Egyptians in hieroglyphics. So he has a, a test current supply, so it's mm -hmm. the 70 volt that we checked is good. Um, okay, we have to check that it's put it, it's on the 20 milliamp and not on the 60 milliamp. I, I, I looked at that last time. Oh, you did look at it? And then it comes here and it should drive the selector magnet straight. Well, we know it at least. It does. It does it because it, it uh, doesn't shatter. And then this guy should go this way and go through the selector and back this way and then back this way. So the, the thing that's not on here is the uh, here is. Is the here is inside there or is it a separate? Can you look at the FS2 page? It's okay. So welcome to the schematic shift. Blah blah. blah. That's the that's the, that's the keyboard. It'll say FS2 on the diagram somewhere. Governor network little things. You you can't tell those were mechanical people. And did did did. Well, they draw electrical people as electrical things as mechanical things, and then it took us a while to figure out. But everything's in there. Um, still wants to do thing. You see, FS two. I'm feeling it's further back because these are not in a good sequence. Yeah, and then there are different versions. We have apparently there's this PCB version. That's the card we repaired. There's um, that's the power supply we check is good. We changed the mm. cap. Um, FS5, okay, We're that's, so we looked at that one to figure out that we were wire full duplex. There's FS1, okay, receive, that's, that's the card, right, which we, was not working, but we repaired it, blah, 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 BD1, that's BD2, oh, here we go, option have the mode control, and that doesn't tell you nope. what it, it is. If it's anywhere, it's in the FS2 document. BD3, reader control, reader feed, reader feed contact, reader feed magnet. That's this, the reader is this thing over here. Oh, that's for paper, paper punch, AC power, reader control. No, we haven't gotten through that yet. There we FS2. Go. Send circuitry. Great. Mode control. Go figure. So with the famous relay. Right, right. And then keyboard reader. Oh, there's the reader. Right. Of course. And in, and in the loop. Is also. And where is distributor? Keyboard, what's that say? Reader. Okay. And uh, you don't have answer to... back. Okay. There we go. Answer back. See, they're all wired together on the out up with the mode switch. They're all to get all in or all out. So it's the distributor. They're just There's parallel, wired or keyboard. Or it could be also the keyboard. That's okay. The keyboard is in the loop. Also, interestingly enough. Oh, the brake key for the brake. Yeah. Yes, and then we check that works. Mm -hmm. So that's not the keyboard. So that my bet is that something in the wiring in is, the is is shorting it. So confident about our hieroglyphics deciphering ability, we go take a closer look at the distributor, which is hidden behind the power supply assembly. So here's the distributor. It's not quite as beautiful as the Model 14 either, but it's on the PCB. Spins around and then you have all the bits, right? They should have eight bits plus two stop bits plus a start bit. Okay, let me go further. It's, okay. it's sh shorted the, all the time. Okay, so that would explain it. Right. And it's shorted to all of the segments.
Great, looks like we have a short, which is the worst bug to track down. Anything in parallel with the distributor, like the keyboard or the tape reader, could cause it. Let's try to disconnect as much as we can to isolate the short. We've disconnected everything, so there's nothing in feeding our distributor. And we were testing those two previously. And this is a stop the stop bit so I don't know if it's valid but I should have now I'm this I am on this bit so that's center that's out I should go here brush other brush here that you can see it comes all the way here comes all the way here comes all the way here doesn't make contact oh no it's getting worse we have shorts when we don't want them and we have opens when we don't want them either. Should I remove the whole brush assembly? Yeah, let me let me do that. Let me let rem or, yeah, let me, so let me put it back to center. So no good position. All right, go. And then do a good. I'll try to get the brushes not to fall off. Did it fall off? I got that one. Yep. Now let's do the other one. All right, that looks perfect. Back in position. So, click. Okay. Must be much easier than for you. So Carl, this is no. this is much better now. So now it's doing better, like it's distributing, but we still have the stop bit permanently connected to the center, which would cause no matter which position I am at. Which is definitely not right. Mm -hmm. Because if I look over here, if I get the stop bit and the center connected, then this will be shorter all the time and I would explain what we see. So there's something that takes that bit and shorts it back here. And we don't know what it is and it should be nothing it should be not even in the where is distribution although where is is the only time when we do the where is is the only time that unshorts so we can make a simple experiment though we can do where it, here is and get it okay tell me if your short disappeared or not yeah. Still there. Still there. Ah. Just went away? Okay. Okay, it goes away. So this definitely is the here is that shorting it. Aha, uh -huh. the short is probably in the answer back mechanism somewhere. Okay, I think I've found part of the problem here. It's the we call here the where is mechanism because it responds to the where is key, but it's called the answer back mechanism. Has a little switch here which is character suppression. And I think this is causing our problem. Because there's a time missing right where it stops, so the character suppression is on. And I believe that's responsible for the short. Let me demonstrate. Turn it on. If I do something here. Nothing happens. And I think it's just suppressed by the character suppression. Oops! I got myself burned by the motor. Okay, so I take the rule contact off, which is the contact suppression, and 
go. So, uh, either the spine shouldn't be put where it is, or more likely the mechanism doesn't stop where it should. So it says right here in the hieroglyphics note the ST row ST is the first row sense at the beginning of an answer back cycle. It is coded at a factory for character suppression and must not be recorded. So that is correct. Ah, you know what could explain it? Is the relation, the horizontal relation yeah, yeah. of the whole block. I was thinking vertical, but horizontal would do that, the same thing. That may be the adjustment. So my current suspicion is, well, current suspicion, I, I am kind of out of adjustments, but this can be moved this way. So I suppose if I loosen it up and move the whole thing, which I had to repair, right, then I might be able to advance Closer it. Closer to the front might be one, right. One, uh, I'm about as close I can get. Yeah. But you know, my repair might have prevented. Okay, no, I'm not as close as I can get. Good, okay, good. so let's try that. Let's, let's try to call stuff. Oh, what happens here? Let's see if that helps. That fixed it. Alright, that's it. So now, works, and then you can put a piece of paper in it quickly to see it. Here it is. Yeah, and it stops with the tying up. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, this is more devilish than that. Yeah, it, it stops at the same place, but there is a cam that pushes it out. Ah, okay. What can I do? For the stop. Yeah, there's a little guy right here okay. that pushes it out. Oh, this is the village. So, in, in zero position, it is facing the notch, but there's a cam that prevents it from pulling in. From pulling it, and when you start here, is it goes in, in does the character first. suppression, right. and then starts to rotate. So when they met first, they really met so, the rest position. So it was, and it's this little fan, oh my, Got it. Got it. Uh, very silly. So now we can play with it. And what we discovered, that it's not printing the right characters, or not even going forward all the time, but it's good. Cool space works, then G, the bell, that should be control G or shift G? Should be control. control. Well, maybe it's shift G. That's a good point, maybe it's shift. I think it's control G, the bell. I think we're in control all the time, and I can see a broken piece in the control mechanism and plastic piece. So part of it is working, obviously. And sometimes it goes several. Um, return, but then it doesn't go back enough to reset. Okay. The repeat. So a few things work. But so I think before we switch to the typing unit, maybe we should hook it up to uh, something and see what we encode, mm -hmm. and then get through the keyboard. Well, it's progress. Today, after a long day, we uh, put a, a little test setup together, a vintage one of course, uh, to start to put the ASR33 through its spaces. 